How's it going everybody, Jared here, and today we're gonna to go in through the process of how you would design an app icon and then implement that into Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. Now when you're working with your app icon, you wanna first start uh, envisioning what it looks like so you can design it out on paper, but essentially you wanna make sure that it is a 1024 by 1024 image and you wanna keep those round corners in mind because not all of your app icon is gonna be showing because of those rounded corners. Now when you have all that planned out, just go ahead, pop into the computer and then open up either Pixelmator, Photoshop, whatever editing software you like to use. Paint, if you like using paint, and you can use whatever you want, but you wanna make sure that is a 1024 by 1024 pixel image with a 72 pixel density. With the pixel density, you can make that bigger or smaller if you want, but you wanna make sure that it's a pretty good pixel density because you are working with iPhones. And then when you have your app icon designed, the next thing to do is actually just export that into its various sizes. Now, as you can see, there's various sizes that you need to actually put inside of your iPhone application. You can see there's a 29 point, a 40 point, a 57 point, and a 60 point. And all of these have their own various sizes. So you see one times, two times, three times. That basically means that we have 20 29 point times two or times three and 40 point times two times three, you get the point. Now there are applications that actually help out a lot with this process such as Prepo and you can go ahead and download that. The link will be in the description down below if you wanna go check it out. It is a free application so if you don't like it, it's free, whatever. So if you wanna open up Prepo right now, you can just see that it opens up a brand new thing and then you're just going to take your app icon and just click and drag that as your icon artwork. And there you have it, it's all done right there and, and there for you. And then again, if that's how you liked it, if you wanna add some shine to it, you can. I don't recommend it in this case, especially. Uh, you can make it specifically for iPhone or you can make it for Universal. You can do all that kind of stuff. It's a very neat application. It makes your life a whole lot easier, as I said. So now that we have all that figured out, we can just go ahead and say export, and then we can just export it into our app icon destination. So this is going to be my folder that I have right here. So I'm making sure that I'm in that folder, and then we can just go ahead and say choose, and then as you can see, it just exports everything right then and there. Really easy, really simple. And it also adds your iTunes artwork at two times. And this is actually very helpful for you when you're uploading it to the App Store. So that's helpful. And then when you're ready, you could just take all those images that were exported via Prepo, and you could just put that right into your application inside of your images.exe assets. Now, if any of your images aren't filled that are inside of your images.exe assets, you can go back over to Pixelmator or your editing software of choice and just export it at those various sizes that are needed. And then once you have all of your app icons filled out, you can go back over to your Xcode project and you're gonna go down to the app icons and launch images. And you wanna make sure that the app icon is connected up with that of your images.exe assets. And then just go ahead, build and run, and you should be good to go. And there you have it, that is my app icon. It's loaded onto my application. And I should also be able to see if I like scroll down, I can type in the name of my applica application and it shows the app icon for that as well. And we're good to go. So there you have it. That's how you do app icons in Xcode with Prepo. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of different version of doing things. I felt like standing up a little bit, doing something different. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Also, one last thing, my Udemy course is live. Although we are only having one app done at the moment, I'm really working hard and getting it all done with Mario and also Geometry Das. But right now we have ZigZag done. So if you wanna go check it out, you can get a 50% off coupon down in the description down below. Anyway, see you there.